I'm a lawyer, and my client is here. That makes me a very privileged friend, and one of relatively few who can say that. Seven years ago, I did a study before founding Finder, and found that there was a small handful only of lawyers in the EU who were in a charity context serving the planet and its people uh, in the way that I intended. Now, I contrasted that with the United States, where I was originally from, and there were about 500 people uh, who were lawyers inside charitable institutions working full-time for the environment. A smaller population than the EU, but many times the number of lawyers working essentially on their behalf. So that was then the scheme for the planet Earth. It seems to be an enormous open space. The power of law wasn't being used for the environment in the EU in the way that I saw that it could be. Six years later, we have offices in London, Brussels, and Warsaw, and as staff of 60, uh, the majority of them are lawyers, there are over 40 lawyers. Now, in Brussels, which is the seat of European government, as you all know, but also the place where over 90% of the legislation for the environment emanates, there was not a single lawyer uh, working as a practicing lawyer on behalf of the environment. There were 15,000 corporate lobbyists, many of whom are very skillful lawyers, representing the interests of business and government. And I set out, therefore, to try and change this balance of power. What do we do? Well, uh, principally two things. With more time, I would go into a more detailed explanation. Uh, principally two things. We help write good laws, and then we help in implement and enforce laws. So over the last five years, we've been working uh, greatly on the common fisheries policy. And I think we can claim a fair amount of credit for the law that has just emerged after years of negotiation. Uh, our amendments went in through many countries and through many NGOs that we work with. And the common fisheries policy of Israel the world it will actually lead to sustainable fisheries uh, in the EU for the first time if it's properly implemented. The fisheries were going down, down, down in a very, very quick and rapid decline. So this offers a great possibility. It's a perfect example of how changing the law can help save the environment. On the cases, so implementation and enforcement, uh, a lot of what we do, we brought a case in the UK in the Supreme Court ultimately, and won in May, the first time that an environmental organization has brought and won a case in the new Supreme Court of the UK on air pollution against the government, because the government was not only not complying with the European-wide air quality laws, but defiant. Uh, as, as an American, I've learned that word uh, looking at British newspapers. Uh, defiant, uh, non-defiant. Uh, and it said it was going to comply by 2012 when it needed to, nor was it going to comply by 2025, um, at which point a new generation, presumably a politician, would be in office. Ultimately, we won the case. It took four years. The result will be a cleaner air for the population, not just London, but of another 18 cities and towns uh, in the UK. Why is this important? According to the government's own numbers, 39,000 people are dying each year in the UK prematurely due to air pollution, a very important public health matter. We also wanted to demonstrate that citizen groups can enforce the law and hold the government to account when it is not complying with its own laws, with the European laws. One of the other major efforts is to try and help save the climate by <coughs> killing coal as a source of fuel. Now, we brought a case in the UK uh, that prevented the new generation of six coal-fired power stations from being built in the UK. In Poland, we targeted the 14 coal-fired power stations from our Warsaw office that Poland was building. We killed four of those and 10 are on hold. Not easy work. Uh, the, in Poland, the Treasury Secretary held a press conference to denounce us as public enemies. Uh, I immediately went on everyone's CV. <laughs> yeah. And the head of the office got death threats, which was a little more uh, a little more substantial and worse. But things are working out there, I think. And uh, I think we will prevent that generation of coal fired power stations from being built. The idea is to increase the business risk for bad carbon investments so that good carbon investments will be more likely. In the minute that I have 
uh, I want to just mention we work in a variety of areas. So climate energy, climate forests, human health in the environment, biodiversity, and access to justice. And just last week, after six years, we won a case against Germany. Not always to do in football, easy to do in football, but we, we won this case uh, against Germany, uh, it, which will force Germany to open its courts, uh, which have been more or less closed to environmental cases, to its citizens and to any other European citizens, to bring environmental cases to enforce the rights uh, of all citizens, Germany and non-German, both against companies and against the government when they are not behaving. So, uh, in brief, the idea is to use the law for the benefit of biodiversity, for the benefit of people, uh, really for all who sail upon the earth. So think of us as your lawyers and the lawyers for your children and all the children you see in playgrounds. And by the way, thank you for making it. Hello, it's been a mysterious and interesting process. <laughs>